Hey everybody, it's Vince with Rudolanko. Today we're going to talk about trimmers. I have a gas trimmer and I have an electric trimmer or a battery powered trimmer. Uh, right now there's a ban going on in California where you can only use electric tools. So can these tools keep up with the gas powered tools? That's the big question. So this is an HC150. It's from Echo. Uh, brand new. They run about $250 to $300. Um, probably more in the $300 range comes with a, um, a sheath here so um, big things with the gas is it's two-stroke it has a carburetor which will need cleaned every now and then has an air filter which will need clean every now and then and it has uh, a gas an oil to gas mix ratio um, otherwise your on off switch is here you would prime it and then you'd start it up as far as length of the shaft, um, it's about the same. This is a 20 or 21 inch uh, shaft here. Um, it weighs, I couldn't tell you how much it weighs, but in comparison to the weight of this, you know, do a little bicep curls. This is a little bit heavier. Um, it has metal parts. This has more plastic parts on it. Uh, the size of the shaft on each one it's about the same this one has a little bit longer has a bigger tip here and moving into the Toro 60 volt um, battery powered press this button battery comes out stick it in the charger it has an indicator light here tells you how charged up it is uh, a lot of plastic on it to turn the handle you press this blue button and that'll turn it to run the machine, it's a safety switch here, right? You have your trigger, and then there's another lever in there, and that's how you start that. It's a little lighter than the Echo, um, but it, it feels like it's, even though it's mostly plastic, it feels pretty uh, solid. So I'm gonna run this one, I'm gonna run the uh, Toro, and we'll see what happens. At the end, I'll let you know my thoughts. Again, um, I'm not paid by either company. This is just an honest review because you know the market's going more battery powered, so it's good to have some honest reviews out there of the equipment. I did have a friend who works for Toro. Uh, let me borrow this, um, and I greatly appreciate that, so thank you. I just pulled this down from my garage storage. I have not turned it on yet. Um, so there's a primer, we'll prime some gas into there, and we'll see what happens. Going to go cold start. So for starters, that's significantly quieter than that. Um, one big thing that, and I'm not taking a bias whether this is better than this, uh, you guys can decide for that. One big thing is I hate when I come in and smell like two-stroke gasoline uh, or exhaust. So to be able to just fire this up, not stink, that's awesome. One thing I will say is I keep hitting this button. This button turns your machine like that all right so I guess after a little bit of getting used to it, it'll be fine it left a very nice clean cut even on some of the actual leaves it cut it very nicely all right so next i'm going to use the gas echo all right so can the electric keep up with gas powered equipment absolutely i am very impressed with toro uh, and their electric trimmer 
I'm fine with getting rid of my gas trimmer to use a battery powered trimmer. Um, now if I was commercial, I would look at how long a battery can last, um, the durability of the parts um, versus a gas. Um, this one, I don't have to do any oil, I don't have to do any gas, I don't have to do any carb cleaning. Again, that's a very big win for any homeowner that doesn't wanna spend the time to do that. This is just plug and play. Eventually, maybe go get your blade sharp and take care of them. So, all in all, if I missed a certain point that you uh, feel is very important to, you know, make the decision between going electric or gas, let me know. Um, but I think uh, for your your homeowner uh, and even your company, um, you know, they're leading the way. This thing's sweet, so I think I'm gonna have to pick one up. Uh, any questions? Let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next one.